Alright, good to go. Uh, Whenever you're all ready, three, two, one. So you're going to put it in and you're going to hold it in there. I'm just going to hold it in. At least I'm <laughs> Put it in, Albert. Keep it in. Don't let it touch the glass. Don't let it touch the glass. And you notice what? It's vibrating. Keep it in there for about half a minute. Anyone impressed by any of this so far? I don't really know. Can you not see it? Has the color changed? It's expanding. Oh wait, no, that's just a glass. Sorry. Holy crap. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, that is savage. Yeah, that's cool. That's cool. That's cool. That's cool. Did it expand? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, you should, man. Yeah. Right, thank you very much. Do What's happening? Do it again, do it again. Go. Yeah, do you want to go again? Yeah, yeah. So you need to give it another minute over there to do the rest there. It's so cool. Do, did the water just like form right? What up, what form around it? Very good, Louise, keep going. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> First of all, what did you notice when it went in? There was like a bubble around it. Did it change colour? It changed colour. Yeah. To what colour? Grey. White grey, silver. Change the silver colour. You didn't notice? Okay. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's going to be awesome. Yes. Okay, At least we know it will work once. That's my overriding fear is that physics experiments. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying. Whenever you're ready, Shane, if it doesn't work, don't blame me. Just don't touch the glass. Excellent, I think. So what do we notice? Bubble. Bubble. Give it off the glass. That is cool. What about the color? It's, uh, it's, so much, uh, it's, it's definitely silver to begin with. And it goes back to that one. That's nice. So what we have here, that was good. just want to have your attention. You ever notice when you throw drops on top of a range or a cooker, they sort of skitter around yeah, oh, yeah, the cooker is really hot? Same idea. What's actually happening here is that boils the water immediately around it. So the water around it turns to a vapor. But that vapor then is very slow in moving away. So what it actually does is it acts as a little blanket. Yeah, so the reason it's changed color is because, as you all said, you do actually get a tiny amount of, or tiny surface volume, a tiny width of bubbles the whole way around it. That's what changed the color. Yeah, and that then prevents the heat being es escaping from that into the water. So that basically insulates the whole little thing, and it just stays like that until eventually the heat must move away, the bubbles at that stage disperse, and you're back to your novel. But that's what happened in the range too. You got the little bubbles. It's called the light and frost effect, because above a certain temperature, the drops of water, they literally hover on top of the range. Yeah, they blow around. Yeah, but what they've actually got is a little uh, layer of steam underneath them, <coughs> water vapor, layer of water vapor underneath, which ever so slowly evaporates. Right? And when it evaporates, at that stage, the whole bubble just goes, just bubbles up, and the whole thing evaporates. So that's what happens here. It's called the light and frost effect. And... Stay about. This is the 